Good evening, everyone. My name is David Hall Williams, and on behalf of the chair and board of the Charles Wood Festival, I'm delighted to welcome you all to the award ceremony for the Charles Wood Festival Virtual Song Competition 2021. Our festival is dedicated to promoting the work of the Armagh born composer, as well as providing educational opportunities to singers, including the Charles Wood Singers Summer School, the Charles Wood Girls Choir, and most recently, the Song Competition. Our festival will take place between the 22nd and 29th of August this year in Armagh, and we'll be announcing more details on that soon. I would now like to take a moment to thank our sponsors. Firstly, the Arts Council of Northern Ireland, who have been generous supporters of our festival, particularly during the difficult last 12 months through the Organisation Emergency Funding and the Stability and Renewal Fund. I would like to thank the Armagh Diocesan Board of Education, who have supported the festival for a number of years and have increased their contribution this year, which we very much appreciate given the current circumstances. I would also like to thank the Friends of the Charles Wood Festival. One of the great tragedies of the last 12 months is that we've not had the opportunity to come together to enjoy excellent music making. And with the continued support of the Friends of the Charles Wood Festival, we'll be able to celebrate live performance when it is once again possible. If you're interested in joining the Friends Scheme, then all the details are on the Support Us section of our website. We are delighted to welcome back the jury from the 2020 competition, chaired by Paul Farrington. A founding member of the Professional Voice Ulcers Clinic at Queen's Elizabeth University Hospital, Paul has held, held positions in a number of major conservatoires and drama schools in the UK and is now vocal technique and vocal health consultant at the Royal Opera House. Northern Irish mezzo-soprano Carolyn Dobbin was an associate artist at Welsh National Opera and spent two years at Lertzen Opera House, Switzerland. Carolyn has performed extensively in opera, oratorio and solo recitals, including appearances at the Royal Opera House Limbury Studio, English National Opera, Grange Park Opera and the Royal Albert Hall. Fanula J. O'Boyle, CBE, is Lord Lieutenant of Belfast and Vice Chair of Northern Ireland Opera. Founder of the Blenheim Festival of Voice in 2010, she has a particular interest in young and emerging artists. Fanula is a regular jury member and chair, author and commentator on voice and cultural matters. The song competition was launched in 2019 in order to celebrate the composer's lesser known song repertoire. The list of previous winners includes some of the most exciting talent emerging from the UK and Ireland. And we look forward to adding to this list this evening from a truly international range of competitors with representatives from as far as the USA competing for prizes this evening. We would now like to welcome our competitors. Um, the board would like to thank you all for your adaptability and the hard work that you've taken to get to this point. So hello and welcome. Uh, we hope that regardless of the outcome of this evening, you'll continue to engage with the Charleswood Festival in the years to come. Along with the announced awards, I can reveal that the board was so impressed with the number and standard of applications that they have decided to add two highly commended prizes of £100 each to the senior competition this year. I'll now give a quick reminder of the competition requirements. The senior class are, were required to submit a varied 20-minute programme consisting of one Charles Wood song, one French song and two German songs by different composers. The junior class were required to submit a varied 15 minute programme consisting of one Charles Wood song, two other songs, either French or German, and the entries must have been recorded as one continuous performance. Before I hand over to the chair of the jury, we will hear two pieces by Charles Wood. These were recorded especially for this evening by Carolyn Dobbin and accompanied by Ruth McGinley at St. Patrick's Church of Ireland Cathedral, Armagh. The first will be At Sea, a song familiar to the competitors, as that's one of this year's four options for the Charles Wood piece. And the second song is Crady's Lament for Kale. That's all from me. So uh, enjoy these two performances and the very best of luck to all of the singers. Sí. 
Good evening, everyone. It's wonderful to see you all on screen. I think we've all spent, I know myself, having spent hours and hours over the last year, I've been fortunate enough to be able to work with most of my opera houses that I would normally work with around the world on screen. And so we're all getting to that point where we're slightly fatigued with screen work. But I have to say, on behalf of all of us in the jury, that the days that we spent over the last week or so looking at your videos were the greatest pleasure. We were absolutely stunned by the quality of work that you presented to us. Um, it was really wonderful. Congratulations to all of you for managing to maintain both your voices and your artistry in this most difficult of years and for your dedication to your craft. It was truly exciting for us to see that in spite of all the obstacles the pandemic has put in your way as young singers, you managed to rise above them all and present performances of such a high standard. We were absolutely thrilled. Some of you were lucky enough to be able to find a venue where you could work with your own accompanists. Some of you had to work with recorded karaoke style things, and yet still you managed to present wonderful work to us. We were treated to a huge variety of wonderful repertoire, as well as the beautiful Charles Wood set pieces. And you all chose so well for your voices and stages of development, which is so important. It was also thrilling to hear that one competitor, Sonny Fielding, presented his own superb setting of Les Roses de Saadi, a beautifully crafted arrangement which captured both the poem and the French melody style exquisitely. We've already heard from Carolyn, but I'd like to hand back to her now, my friend, jury colleague, and as we've just heard, glorious mezzo-soprano. So, Carolyn. Sorry, I was talking away there. Um, yes, technology is not my first thing. Um, um, I was just saying um, I second everything Paul has said there. Um, I just loved listening to you all. It was just pure joy. I just filled the soul completely to hear singing again and from such talented young singers such as yourselves. Um, I'd first like to thank you again for entering the competition and presenting the songs so beautifully. Um, so it's uh, the, the very first um, pr presentation this evening and prize this evening. It's, uh, it's the Charles Wood Song Prize for the junior category. Um, Charles was, was very clear in, in, in what he wanted from the songs. You can see he wrote so many expression marks and dynamics in the music. And you all followed these with great care and attention. So I thank you so much for that. But you've given me a great difficulty and made my life extremely hard. Um, so, but it's with great pleasure that I would like to announce the winner of the junior Charles Wood Song Class Prize. And that goes to Armand Rabbit. And I think now we're going to hear a little extract of Armand singing At Sea by Charles Wood. Oh, no, no. 
Armand, can I just say how much I enjoyed your singing of this song? It was just beautiful. When I first heard your voice, I think my jaw hit the floor for it's just so sonorous, so resonant and rich for a 21 year old. It really is an incredible instrument. Um, Thank you. Can you <laughs> <a lot. laughs> it really is beautiful. Can you tell us a little bit about how you started singing and maybe where you are right, right now regards your studies and perhaps what, if you've got any future uh, plans? I know things are a bit difficult at the moment, but maybe there's some things in the pipeline. Yeah, so I started singing when I was about 18. Um, and then in my gap year, I worked as a labourer until Christmas. And after that, I got a um, choral scholar job at Liverpool Cathedral. And it was the director who was playing for me there. And I went to RNCM as a composer and thought, got there and thought, I might have made a bit of a mistake here and switched over and then just sung more and more as the time goes on. Goes on. <laughs> Wonderful. Such an interesting, rich variety of things already that you've, you've done in your life, you know, and it's great to have that life experience doing lots of other things as well. Um, but wonderful. I'll be watching you very carefully and watching your career very carefully from now on. Did you enjoy um, performing the Charles Wood song and learning it as well? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, the other two songs I did were slightly more <laughs> intense. So it was um, <laughs> it was a nice respite in the, in the programme for me just to I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not like a love song, but it was happy and, you know, it was just nice to just let the voice out without portraying immense sorrow and things like that. It was great fun. Oh, well, I adored listening to it and you pointed the words so beautifully as well, which I, I really, really enjoyed. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for giving me so much pleasure by listening to you. So thank you for that and congratulations. Cheers. And now we have uh, the overall junior prize. And the runner up in this category, can I just say, first of all, it was, it was wonderful to hear such a wide variety of songs. Um, and, and again, as Paul said, they, they all suited you beautifully uh, for your age as well. And, and you, you sung them with such uh, precision and, um, and presented them beautifully. So thank you. Uh, so I would like to now, without more hesitation, announce the runner-up prize in the junior category, and that goes to Rachel Rideout. And I think now we're going to hear a little extract from part of her program. And that is a song by Bizet, Farewell of the Arab Hostess, Adieu de l'Hôtesse Arabe. That was absolutely beautiful, Rachel. Thank you so much. Um, and for someone who's just 21, so young, you presented a gorgeous programme, which was extremely polished and beautifully performed. Um, can you also just tell me a little bit about where you are with regards to your um, career so far, you know, your studies, and again, if you have any uh, future plans? In the, in the, in the yeah, place. so... Uh... I'm in my final year of my degree at um, the Royal Academy of Music in London um, and I've decided now to take some time before auditioning in Germany. I really want to go and study there for masters so just waiting for coronavirus to settle down really but just doing as much singing as I can as with everyone else here I'm sure. 
Oh, fantastic. Well, your, your program yeah. was, was a delight. Each song suited you perfectly. Um, you. And, and also, how did, you, how did you enjoy singing the Charles Wood song? Did you enjoy learning that? Yeah, it was really beautiful. Um, I mean, I listened to the four different options we were given and that one just stood out to me. So um, it was really beautiful. And the words, he set the words so beautifully. You could really see the shapes he wanted to create with, with everything he had written. So, yeah. yeah. The Thomas Moore poetry is, is, is a beautiful poem. It really is stunning. But thank you very much indeed. Uh, we, we enjoyed your performance immensely. Thank, thank you. you. And now I'd like to head over to um, Paul, I think. Hello again. <laughs> I should perhaps say at this point that singing juries can often be very volatile places. This one was a complete joy because we were absolutely unanimous across the board in our decisions. We obviously talked about a number of you, many of you, and things highlighted in, in each of your performances. Um, but what we were looking for was in the, in the winner of each of the, the prizes was someone who fulfilled all of the brief, the technical aspects of the singing, the um, interpretive and presentational skills and, uh, and that extra quality, if you like, that magical X factor. So the person who brought that to us in the junior class, who ticked all of the boxes, was Armand Rabbit. And we're going to hear a little of his Mahler song in diesem Wetter. <coughs> Armin, congratulations. Thank you, cheers. <laughs> well done. It was wonderful to hear a, a big voice be able to sing with such finesse. When you take it back to those pianos and pianissimi um, that Marla writes there, you know, to be able to poise it um, is extremely difficult. And we all felt that you did that really beautifully. Um, I can't wait. You, you obviously do Sturm und Drang very well. I look forward to, to hearing you <laughs> on another occasion, perhaps in your Wigmore debut, um, <laughs> where you're able to show us the lighter side of your character as well. Because you're, you're obviously, from that smile and that, that face that I can see in front of me now, you're obviously great fun as well. And that kind <laughs> of, that, I look forward to hearing that side of your uh, interpretive personality and performance personality as well. Thank you. But many congratulations. Yes, thank you so much. And now I'd like to hand over to Finula to talk about the highly commended prizes. Thank you so much, Paul, and uh, good evening to you all. So, it has often been said that if it's words that make you think, then really it's music 
that makes you feel. So in the performance of any art song, it's absolutely essential to interpret both the words and the music and to create that magical sense of atmosphere that draws us, the listener, in and makes our song experience with you very personal and often very profound. I'm absolutely delighted to say that this is exactly what we found in the senior category. And as Paul and Carolyn have said already, the standard was absolutely exceptional. We had a very difficult but interesting discussion about each competitor. So thank you once again. Precisely because of this, and as Paul has told you already, with the agreement of the competition organizers, the jury has decided to make two highly commended awards. And our congratulations go to tenor Michael Bell and a soprano Naho Kazumi. Thank you both for your beautifully chosen, beautifully sung programs and for your very, very promising work. So I am now going to move to the award of the prize for the best performance of a Charles Wood song in the senior class. And the winner of this prize created such an atmosphere, the atmosphere that I've talked about, the wistful, longing, beautiful song that allowed for a most moving and memorable performance. I'm pleased to tell you that the winner of the song prize is soprano Natasha Page, and we're going to hear her in an extract from Charles Wood's beautiful song, Shall I Forget? I was just thanking you for your exquisite performance. Oh, thank you so much. It was such a, it was really great to learn something new and something I hadn't heard before. And yeah, I really enjoyed that song. Um, well, really I, moving. I was going to ask you, ha have you sung Charles Wood before or was, was this your first time? This was my first time. Yeah, this was my first time. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to look into more of his music. Definitely. Yeah. I'm, I'm very pleased to hear that. And, and what did the song mean to you? Um, I, I guess it was particularly poignant at the moment. Um, well, I had the opportunity, I recorded it in, in um, Chichester Cathedral, actually, because I've, I've got friends there. And mm -hmm. um, it was just really poignant. I think it was talking, for me, I, I think it was discussing um, what happens after death. And um, I think it's particularly poignant at the moment in this time of COVID and with so many people having passed away. And I just think it was a, a opportunity to reflect. So, yeah. Well, you certainly gave us that reflection. It was wistful and beautiful. And you certainly drew us in to that interior world. So thank you so much. And thank you for sharing that with us, Natasha. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> 
Congratulations. Thank you. And I move now to the announcement of the runner-up in the Charles Wood Song Competition 2021 senior class. And this time for a performance that married ravishing singing with beautiful tone colour and interpretation. Our senior class win, our senior class runner-up is again Natasha Page. And we're going to hear Natasha this time in French repertoire, Claude Debussy's Romance. Huge congratulations, Natasha, and such a beautiful programme. Strauss and Debussy, and why did you choose these pieces? Um, I guess I just I just chose what I love to sing, honestly. <laughs> um, I did I did try to theme it um, because I knew we would be recording an evening, so I kind of tried to theme it around <laughs> evening songs, um, and then I had a sort of sort of theme of some flower songs and then some um, remembrance. But um, yeah, basically I just chose what I really in enjoy singing. So. It's, it's always a very good way to go <laughs> and it certainly showed in your work. Natasha, what's next for you? What, what are you hoping to do? Well, um, I graduate from the Royal College Opera School in July. Um, I'm going to Garsington Opera this summer and I'm covering um, Adele in Le Contouri. Um, and then I guess just the, <laughs> the big wide world. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to doing some work. I'm a uh, sampling artist. I've got that course coming up um, and I'll just be freelancing, I suppose. <laughs> Well, Le Contouri is quite a, a fun opera and yeah. probably a, a departure from the programme you sang yeah. for us <laughs> this evening. But thank you so much. We wish you well. Thank you for singing so beautifully for us. And we'll be watching your career with, with great interest. Thank Congratulations you. again, Natasha. Thank you so much. So, thank you. With great, great pleasure, I hand back to the chair of our jury, Paul Farrington, who is going to tell us about the winner of the Charles Wood Prize in the senior category for 2021. Well, you'll have gathered from what we've already heard from Natasha that we were had a wonderful pool, a wonderful standard had been set. So in choosing the winner, we were looking for a singer whose technical and musical ability allowed them to communicate with us in, as Fanula's just said, a very profound way. And I think we found that singer. To find such a singer who is a consummate artist at such a young age was absolutely thrilling for us as a jury. And when we were discussing this singer, we just couldn't find enough superlatives. So I'm absolutely to, delighted to announce that the winner of the Charles Wood Singing Competition for 2021, with the first prize of £1,000 at a performance opportunity at the Charles Wood Festival in 2021, is the tenor Christopher Willoughby. And we're going to hear a little extract from Christopher's program now, singing from Beethoven's Adelaide. I'm 
Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Chris, are you there? Hello, yes, I'm here. Hello, many congratulations. Am I, is it okay to call you Chris or do you prefer Christopher? Chris is absolutely fine. <laughs> many congratulations, Chris. I, you, it, it, as soon as I, I heard your programme and I know it was, it was the same, when you started the very first song, I was transfixed from the moment you opened your mouth, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, you sing with a, a level of artistry that, um, you know, one would expect from someone much further along the, the, the track <laughs> than you are. If I paid good money to hear that at the Wigmore Hall, I'd be extremely happy. Thank you so much. It's a massive honour. Tell me, um, you have such a feel for languages. Are, are you a linguist? Have you, have you studied languages or...? I'm absolutely not a linguist. Um, I find languages uh, really difficult in terms of um, speaking them, but in terms of pronunciation, I've just tried to work hard to remember the rules and work on those. It, but it doesn't sound like you're doing that. It sounds like you're completely imbued in both your French and your German. I mean, you know, the, the, the way that you use the text, it wasn't just odd words here and there. The way that you, you nourished a phrase, the, your understanding of where you were going with the text. Uh, was one of the things that, that, that blew us away. And, you know, I, I adore Fidele. It's one of my favourite songs anyway. But, you know, you built that so beautifully because it's such a marathon song and so many people give so much too soon and then find they've got nowhere to go for the big climax at the end. And you, you, you manage that beautifully. And then you poise the Strauss Morgan um, so exquisitely um, and then finished with that wonderful Adelaida. So, you know... There was no question in our minds, you were our winner this year and we're very proud of you. And, and as the others have said, we look forward to following your career um, with great, great interest and wish you every success. What have you got coming up, Chris? Um, so I'm really excited. Next year I'll be starting the Vocal Performance Masters at the MDV in Vienna. Um, so I'll need to be a bit more linguist for that, um, but I can't wait to get started. And I'm hoping to learn with the tenor Michael Schader. Great. Terrific. Well, very many congratulations, Christopher. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. It was a great pleasure to hear you sing. So I, I think it's up to me to wrap things up by saying to everyone, thank you so much again for submitting your applications this year. Once again, we'd like to congratulate you on the high standard of work you're all producing and hope that the coming year will give you the chance to share your voices and your artistry with audiences who will love listening to you every bit as much as we have in this competition. Thank you so much and good evening. <laughs>